Hey, it's Project Pokédex episode number eight, and we're gonna get right after it in our Apricorn fields from earlier in the series at my old base at this village here where I planted plenty of Apricorn trees. And the purpose of this is to make some Pokéballs as you would. The problem with this setup before is that my mod was working incorrectly and I could not get the crafting recipes to work. But this time with all my Apricorns, it will. Bothering me and my quest to grab some Apricorns was a Mega Pidgeot, a Mega boss that I have not beaten yet because when I used to live at this village, my Pokemon were not as strong as they are now. So with Tyranitar and Electabuzz, I was able to beat the boss Pidgeot and get some good loot, including the Mega Stone. I put it right on my current Pidgeot, and I was hoping that the Mega Evolution would be pink also, but it's just normal, unfortunately. After I moved on from that, I went back to my new base and had quite a bit of apricorns to work with. I needed to, of course, smelt them all up, and so that was going to be the hard part. One of the things I was able to use for fuel was actually these logs from the apricorn trees, and I made sure to plant some new ones by my base before I get like a real field of apricorns like I do at my old base. So I just claimed a room in this woodland mansion I've been living in and started putting down furnaces everywhere. After a bit of that, I went to enchant my diamond axe and I got a very good enchantment on it. And then made some real furnaces, 64 to be exact. So I put 64 more furnaces in this abandoned room that I'm starting to claim as my furnace room. I think I'll come back here someday soon and actually make like an automatic furnace setup with like hoppers and minecarts and stuff, but for now this will have to do. Then I used what I had, which apparently was not a lot of platinum, to make some Pokeballs. My priority was Ultra Balls because that's how I'd catch a Legendary. And so yeah, I made 30 Ultra Balls and then a bunch of Silver Bases and all kinds of different lids. Now looking back, I definitely made way too many like Dive Balls and stuff like that where I should have made like an assortment of everything. But it was fun to get like a lot of Premier Balls and new things that I haven't been able to make so far in the series because the mod has not been working correctly. Here was a boss Mega Alakazam, and I'm pretty good at beating those now. I just used my Dark type Pokemon, and here was a boss Carvana too, which I thought was pretty cool. He actually gave some good loot, an XL candy. Then I found an Ultra Wormhole. I've been meaning to go into one of these lately for a while now, and actually get the full experience of, you know, Ultra Space. It was very laggy for me, so I apologize for all these clips just being kind of laggy. But there's just loot and bosses and raids and everything everywhere. It's kind of like overwhelming, especially for like my computer to be able to handle it. But the Ultra Space is so cool and there's so many raids everywhere. So I'm not even going to show them all, but here's just some of the highlights. Like things like Pupitar. I definitely need to come back here with like a bunch of Ultra Balls and just see how much stuff I can catch for my Pokédex. But for now, doing some raids has definitely helped my Pokédex for this episode and the loot is very very good. The scariest thing with these like group battles where there was five or six I guess five Pokemon at one time but Tyranitar's earthquake was usually able to take on most of them and that helped me out a lot. Here I caught a Tyrantrum that was pretty high level. Oh and that's one more thing about Ultra Space is that all the Pokemon are pretty much high level so it's kind of hard to not catch anything that's like a low level and so for building a new team I can just look in my PC and things are already like level 50 plus, which is definitely helpful. Here was another raid. It looks like it was a Durant and my Larvesta would take a very good care of this Durant. Even when I die too, it is good because other people can try to beat the boss for me. And in this case, that's exactly what happened. Although I didn't catch it. Here was a more overpowered boss with a Greninja in my Electabuzz that's level 41 got demolished. So when you don't beat him, you get blown out of the den and can't catch him. Also in Ultra Deep Space, I realized that there's a lot of like rare Pokemon. Like Trico was just like everywhere. All kinds of like evolved Pokemon. Here's me just doing some more raids. This was a Pinsir. And also you get lots of TRs that are good so I can train up a team with good moves. There I actually caught an unknown with an Ultra Ball and then ventured off even farther to look for more items. My next task was also to catch Electabuzzes to get an Electrovisor because I wanted to evolve my current Electabuzz. I was thinking, oh, he's way too weak. And I have been playing Pokemon for a long time, 
and I promise you I should have known this, but it's a trait evolution. It's not even a click and evolve evolution. And I was very disappointed to relearn this, but I promise you I'm not that much of a noob at the game. I should have known this, but uh, yeah, it was pretty sad and I was upset. And I debated cheating and doing slash trade evolve, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not a cheater. And here is my dual blade. I use a dust stone that I got and he has evolved to Aegislash, and finally my Larvesta, who has been getting trained up for a long time now, got all the way to level 58, and he evolves at 59, so I went to go train him up, but I found a Charmeleon in the wild, which is perfect. Charizard's one of the Pokédex entries we need still, and I caught him before evolving Larvesta into Volcarona. Look at that thing. Now, I needed a new electric type, and for now, the only thing I could figure out was Pikachu and a Thunderstone to get a Raichu, so Raichu, welcome to the team. Also, there was this yacht out in the middle of nowhere that I found when I was looking for stuff, and it had quite a bit of loot. I feel like the more adventuring I do, the more I realize I need to do more adventuring. And on my way home from that, I found a Blastoise. So I'm catching all of them except for Venusaur this episode, but yep, I caught a Blastoise. And as soon as I caught that Blastoise, I turned right around and there was a Squirtle boss raid den to be caught. And so I actually ended up catching that Squirtle from the raid den. And just like that, I had pretty much the whole Squirtle line done. And a boss Mega Ampharos spawned near me and of course I had to beat that up with my Tyranitar and Earthquake and I got the Mega Stone. And that's gonna be it for this episode. A lot happened. It was a big episode for me and I'm currently at 236 out of 991 in the Pokédex and I'm also broke so 